I'm proud of my students for many things this year. There are many things that I thought like, well, I'm gonna give them five minutes and then I'm gonna have to show them my way how to do it. And I'm wrong. There's usually at least one student in each group who has a way of doing things that is unique, but 100% accurate. Go ahead and click try another and show us another pattern in this. We can think about teaching and learning across a spectrum from direct instruction where we tell the kids what to do and they practice it to the other end, which is more of that discovery. Let's pull the best things out of both of these and put them into a structured approach for teachers where we do have kids solving problems in ways that make sense to them. You did it, helped him get to the leaf. Rigor that is delightful. A problem-based approach gets results by developing deep conceptual understanding and procedural fluency through real-world application. I did it, I did it. The warm-up, the notice and wonders, students are used to that now, the structure of the lesson, kind of know what's coming, and it also increases engagement. Absolutely, it gets messy and it gets loud, and we have kids using manipulatives, and they're up and they're thinking and they're talking. This one? Yes, there is pencil and paper, and there's so much more. They're getting that immediate feedback, and so there's so much buy-in to continue on. If you do a mistake, you just fix it, and that you will keep that in your brain so you know that we make mistakes and that you can um, do better next time. Lucas was a newcomer to our country. He too also is one of those kids that might have one of those strategies that would have never crossed my mind. You have different answers, like somebody has nine plus one, somebody has um, four plus six, somebody has like zero plus 10. Step-by-step -step instructional moves systematically build from students' prior knowledge, encouraging students' curiosity and supporting teachers as they guide students to grade level outcomes. It makes it a little bit easier for teachers to say, okay, what is that next move that I need to make? What's that next question I can ask? Okay, Samantha found 21 to 28. What did you find, Reed? You can focus on parts of the lesson to then dive deep in but the structure pieces, they've been doing those routines since day one, and so they know what the expectation is with those routines. This curriculum has allowed us to be able to foster these classrooms with a culture and the mindset of we're all mathematicians.